Welcome to ATO's tutorial on building an auto heating control circuit using a PID temperature controller and a range of essential components. We'll walk you through every connection step for this PID controlled three phase heating circuit, complete with safety features and alarm functions. To begin, you'll need a PID temperature controller, an RTD temperature sensor, a three phase power supply, circuit breakers for power and heating control, an AC contactor, a selector switch, a 220 volt alarm, and three 220 volt heating elements. The key component we'll be using for this auto heating system is the PID temperature controller. Let's examine the controller terminals. Terminals one and two serve as the 220 volt AC power input terminals that are non-polarized. Terminal three is the common contact, four is the normally open contact, five is the normally closed contact, and six and seven are the over temperature alarm contacts. Terminals eight, nine, and 10 are designated for the temperature sensor. Let's begin the wiring process. Firstly, connect two neutral wires from the power output. One to the A1 terminal of the contactor coil. And the other to terminal one of the temperature controller. Next, run a live wire from the power output through the normally open contacts of the selector switch to terminal 2 of the temperature controller. Then, connect another wire from terminal 2 to the common contact terminal 3. Then, connect a wire from terminal 3 to the over temperature alarm contact at terminal 7. For the alarm, connect the positive to terminal 6 and the negative to terminal 1 of the temperature controller. Now, let's wire the temperature sensor. Connect the red wire to terminal 8 and the two blue wires to terminals 9 and 10, disregarding the sequence. From the normally open contact at terminal 4, lead a wire to the A2 terminal of the contactor coil. With the control circuit complete, let's move on to the main circuit. Connect the three main power output wires from the power source to the main contact input terminals L1, L2, L3 of the contactor. Since the three heaters are all 220 volts, they should be connected in a star configuration. Connect each phase to one heater terminal. Then connect the remaining terminals together in star configuration. The neutral connection is optional based on practical considerations. With the main circuit now connected, for safety reasons, we won't close the main power circuit breaker as the heater's temperature is too high for our workbench. Instead, we will demonstrate by closing the control circuit breaker. Turn on the selector switch. When the temperature controller starts and the contactor engages, if the measured temperature is below the desired set point, the controller will activate the heating elements to raise the temperature. You can define the desired temperature using the up and down keys on the temperature controller. Now manually heat the temperature sensor, Once the set point is reached, the controller shuts off the heating element by disconnecting the contactor to maintain the desired temperature. When the temperature falls below the set value, the contactor will reconnect the power to the heaters, resuming the heating process. This concludes the wiring and configuration of the automatic heating control circuit with the PID temperature controller. Ready to build your own system today? Get all components for this system at ATO.com, including a full range of temperature controllers and thousands more industrial automation components for all your needs. Explore PID-based controllers, programmable models, and specialized options for various applications. Shop now at ATO.com for competitive prices and fast global shipping. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the ATO channel for more insightful content on electrical engineering, automation control, and DIY projects.
Leave your comments for any questions, suggestions, or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Thank you for watching. See you until next time.